Nasty, Brutish, and Short, Adventures in Philosophy with My Kids, is a book by Scott Hershowitz that explores profound philosophical questions and concepts through the lens of conversations between the author, a philosophy professor, and his two young sons, Rex and Hank. In the book, Hershowitz weaves together anecdotes from parenting, his expertise in philosophy, and the innocent yet insightful inquiries of his children to offer a fresh perspective on complex philosophical topics. One of the central themes of the book is the idea that children are natural philosophers. They are curious, ask fundamental questions, and relentlessly seek the truth about the world around them. Through discussions with his sons, Hershowitz demonstrates that children can engage with philosophical thought in ways that are both profound and accessible. He argues that adults often underestimate the capacity of children to understand and contribute to philosophical discourse. Hershowitz touches upon various philosophical areas, including ethics, personal identity, justice, language, and the meaning of life. By engaging with Rex and Hank's questions and thoughts, the book illustrates how these topics can be discussed in a way that is both engaging and educational for kids. For instance, the book delves into the question of what it means to be a person. In a conversation with his kids about Star Wars, Hershowitz explores ideas of personal identity and the nature of the self. This leads to reflections on the continuity of identity over time and the concept of the soul or essence of a person. Ethics is another area where Hershowitz finds a teaching moment. His boys wonder about the morality of various actions, whether it's sharing toys or telling the truth. Hershowitz uses these discussions to introduce moral philosophy and ideas about what constitutes right and wrong. He capably connects children's innate sense of fairness to broader ethical theories, such as utilitarianism and Kantian ethics, simplifying these theories without losing their essence. Language and communication form yet another philosophical topic addressed. Hershowitz describes conversations about why words can be hurtful and what meaning is. The discussions reveal how children grapple with the concepts of intentionality, context, and interpretation leading to an exploration of the philosophy of language. Justice and rights are also part of the family's philosophical adventures. Through debates about sharing and fairness, the book considers what it means to be just, both in the microcosm of the household and in society at large. Hershowitz encourages his children to think critically about the nature of rights, the social contract, and the role of government in securing justice for its citizens. The book also delves into the age-old question of the meaning of life. In conversations that range from the existence of God to why bad things happen to good people, Hershowitz and his sons tackle this vast topic with a blend of humor, honesty, and philosophical rigor. The questions from his children often lead to discussions on religion, existentialism, and the pursuit of a good life. What sets nasty, brutish, and short apart is its demonstration of how parental teaching moments can become rich philosophical discussions. Hershowitz's narrative shows that these conversations can happen organically and can be both intellectually fulfilling for the parent and deeply formative for the child. Through the dialogues with his children, Hershowitz shares his belief in the importance of developing critical thinking skills and the ability to reason about challenging subjects from a young age. Importantly, the book itself is an argument against Thomas Hobbes's grim view that life in the state of nature is solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. Hershowitz uses this phrase ironically as his interactions with his children illustrate the joy and depth of shared human experience. Far from being nasty or brutish, the conversations within the book exemplify the richness of life when we engage with the young, inquisitive minds around us. Throughout Nasty, Brutish, and Short, Hershowitz champions the idea that philosophy should not be confined to academia or adult conversation. He asserts that it is an essential tool for navigating life's complexities at any age, and that conversations between parents and children can be as philosophically meaningful as any seminar. He encourages parents to take their children's questions seriously and to recognize the opportunity these discussions present for learning and growth on both sides. The book is an homage to the natural wisdom that children possess, as well as a guide for parents on how to nurture that wisdom.
Hershowitz underscores the power of philosophical discussion to foster a sense of wonder, ethical reasoning, and analytical skills in children. Furthermore, he suggests that these discussions can help build a stronger, more thoughtful, and more empathetic society by beginning with the youngest members. In conclusion, Nasty, Brutish, and Short, Adventures in Philosophy with My Kids is a heartfelt exploration of the significance of philosophical dialogue with children. Through his experiences with Rex and Hank, Scott Hershowitz illustrates the potential for deep understanding and emotional connection when philosophical ideas are shared across generations. The book serves not only as an entertaining recounting of a family's intellectual journey, but also as an inspiring call to embrace the philosophical curiosities of our children and to include them in a conversation about the big questions that shape our lives. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.